Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and then I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Okay, true confessions. I don't like failing. <laughs> I prefer to be sufficient to accomplish whatever task that needs to be done. But here's my confession. That whole mindset, at least for me, is a dangerous trap for pride and arrogance. There is no rest in self-sufficiency. Let me say it again. There is no rest in self-sufficiency. There is only rest in the easy yoke of Jesus Christ. Paul gives us a powerful teaching from the Lord in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 to 10. And the Lord had said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am well content with my weaknesses, with insults, with distresses, with persecutions, with difficulties, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This is just a really mind-blowing teaching. <laughs> the teachings of Jesus Christ are counterintuitive. They are countercultural. Uh, they do not align with the way we think. This is counterintuitive to our corrupted desires for self-sufficiency and power. We want to live as independent, autonomous, powerful beings. But God has hardwired us to be dependent creatures, dependent on God and mutually dependent with one another. Man, that's hard. My weaknesses constantly remind me of my inability to live this life on my own power. I want to minimize that. I want to, I want to get those out of the way. <laughs> that's just me being honest. But it's only then, it's only when I am confronted with my weaknesses that I can begin to live according to God's perfect design for my life. It's only then that I can live in harmony with why Jesus Christ came to show us the way and die for our true freedom. Without this teaching, the resurrection does not make sense. Christ emptied himself so that we can become full of him. We are freed from our own self-sufficiency to live in God's sufficiency. He is the preeminent one. Seize the moment and find rest, not in the ongoing work of your own hands, but in the finished work of his nail-scarred hands, not from the sweat on your own brow, but in the shed blood of his thorn-pierced brow. Surrender to God's sufficiency today, and you will find rest for your soul. Seize the moment.